Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Yes, guys. Back. I'm back. Yes. 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 I remember. Correct. Hope you're having a great day. In today's uh, video, in the speaking accelerator that you're getting here, <clears throat> I want to show you, and not show you, but actually have somebody else tell this example uh, of how once I handled a tough speech situation. You see, I was giving a speech. Actually, it was a workshop. It happened in multiple different occasions, different different scenarios. But basically, I was giving a speech, and this workshop, and the mic was not working. You know, basically, the learning for you today is how do you handle tough situation because oftentimes what's going to happen is when you're speaking the ppt can go wrong you know or something goes off or maybe somebody stands up and asks a tough question you don't know the answer to how do you handle situations like that um you know i talk about the plowing principle all the time that you keep moving forward but you know yeah, i was recently doing a mastermind session for the balanced life mastermind which is my high level program but you know, one and a half years ago, almost two years ago, this gentleman who's now a part of the mastermind, um, a very good member, um, he himself told the example of how he remembers how once I had this, you know, tough situation with technology and how I handled it. And he's like, Bishal, I still remember that. And you're going to hear that example right now. So watch it now. How, uh, Bish Bishal, what, what do I do for the, my, my pre-sale presentation? Did I answer the question? Absolutely. Did I keep moving forward after that? Absolutely. Without losing the energy. That's the point I want to make here right now. Don't lose the energy when something wrong happens in your presentation. You keep moving forward. You smile at it. You make fun of it. Uh, if I can interrupt you here for one second. I think a classic example of this would be in the November 2018 live workshop when we did it. I think Nadi... Nadi, do you remember? Was yeah, Nadi was there for I think sure. Michelle, you're smiling now. You know what you are. I, I, I would want you to... This really. So we yes, were speaking. Absolutely, I remember yeah. Bishal. Yeah. So I was speaking. The mic was not working fine. We spent a lot of money at the events at that time. In the November event, we had big screen at that. You know, we changed the model after that. So big screen. Um, I'll show you photo photo later on. Big screen and all that, and um, we didn't welcome hotel and large stage and you know, this that big lights facing. And in the middle of my presentation, I'm showing some some slides and videos and the. It, the screen was blinking completely. It's like a big, like stage size screen. I don't know how long it was. It was a big screen, right? It was going on and off. It was an LED screen. We had LED like, screen. I think, uh, 14 or 16 screens together. Or together. You know, all these TVs put together to make a big screen. And then I was speaking and the mic was not working. I mean, just imagine if I'm speaking right now, just like this. Just like you can't hear it right now. And sometimes I'm speaking. And I was like, how do I do it? Some people are not able to hear. Then they were also getting. What is happening and what is happening? It kept happening for hours and hours. How did you like that? Effect, right? Yes, it happening for hours. And then one time, you don't have to do it. But I just did what I'm going to tell you. I, now do you remember? I took the mic, the, the headset kind of mic, you know, those, those uh, headset mics. Not the label ones. I took the mic. I threw it on the ground forcibly. I was angry at that time. And I said, enough is enough. And I had voice problem at that time. You know, I had I have a tonsils issue. So I said, I don't like this. Akash, that whoever guy you hired for this, we need, I need to have a word with him today and make sure he speaks to me one on one. I don't like this. Take this off. Take this TV off. Guys, here's the thing. Write this down. Mediocrity is bad. Mediocrity gets punished. And I made a point about it. Then I made a point. Instead of making an issue about it, I made a point. I said, write this down. When you are speaking sometimes, I made, and everybody's like, damn it. Nadi, do you remember that moment when we did it? Yeah. Exactly. Kalpana was present too. Exactly. That's how you do it. Something happens, you move forward, and then you make a lesson out of it immediately. I'll tell you. So it, Another event, Anupam was not, was not there. 2017, September 12 and 13 was the event. Uh, because I remember every date of every event, by the way. Anu, you know, Kalpana came on June 30, July 1st of 2018 in St. Mark's Hotel. So I, I remember everybody's date. I think Palash was also there with Nadi, right? At the event, November 17, 18. I was just trying to add one line because yeah. you started the second one. Hmm. Uh, the, the best part, one of the best part, which is missing actually, you didn't mention also. Okay, okay. When you are angry and mm. you just throw 
that uh, no mic yeah. yeah you take a deep breath yeah yes 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 guys back i am back yes 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 i remember correct i took like who i did like that so some yeah i i have a practice to do that yes. correct correct so, thank so, you for so remembering I, i remember later on you told uh, see uh, uh, this is a kind of practice what i do i know how to uh, control uh, that anger immediately right. so that is why i managed to do that i mean correct Okay. I, I remember that also. See, two, one and a half years ago, almost two years now, one and a half years ago, Palash remembers that moment. Why? Be- not because I threw the mic. In that case, I, that would be a negative, you know, example. But I turned a lesson about it. I made it about mediocrity is not bad. You know, I I hate mediocrity and all that. So think about. You don't have to be that aggressive like me if you're not naturally. But you know, think if something happens, how can you? Um, you know turn that into a lesson so another event that happened uh, again i'm not trying to self serve me here but to give you an example 2017 november uh, 2017 september 12 22 september 2023 2023 i'm speaking in the same room where we, where we met uh, february 1 and 2 uh, at um, royal orchid the light completely went off i mean just imagine for a second in a hotel room in workshop 25 people in the room 20 people in the room light goes completely off and i said this is exactly how most people's speaking feels like you know what and and it's like dark at that time and i'm speaking this you know what most people speak most people speaking is like winking in the darkness to a girl you know you're doing it but the girl does not know it same thing with experts and i kept moving and people are like people are taking their phone and they're doing it they you know they they're putting the light on and when the light comes off the first question the guy in the mid first line says how do you do it i said what is it speak i said i'm ready write this down guys i'm telling to everybody don't get ready stay ready if you stay ready for a difficult opportunity you will turn that time to earn more respect from people turn that time to earn more respect from people anybody can speak black and white if they are prepared but when situation goes wrong you turn sm- smilingly you bounce back you you're not trying to show positivity see this is why influence yourself is so important the level 1 when you're truly convinced about who you are and your ability to handle shit when it comes in you don't have to act confident at that time you keep moving forward with your ability and people respect they spot it recognize it and they're like man there is something different about this communicator there is something about this sales professional there is something different about this vp there is something different about this uh, patent holder there is something different about this speaker there is something different about this pre sale executive whatever that your uh, role is that's what i'm talking about here so plowing plow 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 all the time um so a question comes something goes off how fast can you plow right so keep moving forward and the final one by the way this is one thing a negotiation tactic um i'm not sure how many of you would like to hear not now not today but in future maybe if i do a session on like high level high ticket negotiation skills uh but i i have a plan to teach it if if you're interested just will you just type not type just click the raise hand button let me see because i can see all of that here um negotiation that you can use in business scenario personal scenario all the time um yeah i'll can i give an example of, of that would you guys like to see an example of uh, what exactly happened okay so we don't have the time to give, go through the strategies completely thank you venkatesh thank you trick trick on thank you flash so i don't have the time to talk the strategy here but I'll, i'll give you the result of that so there is this guy his name is prakash he joined our mastermind in 2017 he was a 2017 batch um but i think he was a different batch than rajesh rajesh also joined rajesh if i'm not wrong you came to the event on 2017 april um Am I am I right about that, Rajesh? Two thousand seventeen April, and this guy Prakash came in two thousand seventeen, probably September batch or, or which batch I don't remember. Anyways, so um, he's like Vishal. I I need to really make a good impression. Nadi, get ready because your company's name is coming here. So so he's like Vishal. How how do I make a good impression with my bro- boss? I said very simple. Something that one of my mentors taught me many years ago. If you really want to impress somebody, give them a benefit that they can't give get on their own. That's what Lord Krishna did, by the way. What did he do to Arjun? He's Krishna. 
you know arjun had all the skills but krishna gave him direction that he could not get on his own so i said you become the you know krishna for a minute and and you know this is the and we we had a back and forth conversation in the mastermind and he's like vishal you know this is this is the deal that my boss is you know dealing this 4 crore deal uh, i was like hey, man that's amazing you know you can negotiate it for him and if you win the negotiation you don't have to convince him about anything so not my words his if you just see uh, he says had a vendor meeting to close deal with cisco devices the final quote uh, was 4 crore but i negotiated to 2.646 crore and finalized the deal my director was along with me uh, in the meeting and he is impressed the way i dealt it have to call my school friend today priority for the today is to talk to somebody blah 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 imagine 4.4 from the final quote was for this is like after the initial negotiation already there this was not the first proposal 4 crore was like we can't go below that this guy goes and uses some of the lines i taught him 2.46 and this is called real life negotiation negotiation is not just going to a, a you know store and saying acha 150 ke nahi 120 mein de do not that's not just negotiation negotiation is not just getting the price up and down it's 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 about control and plowing it's plowing and i'll i'll teach you some of the techniques later on because that's like a whole different skill altogether but i want to make sure you get this because it the the techniques and the things i'm going to talk about it's going to take a lot of lot of guts to to use those line um right so i'll tell you one line right now any time you are you don't agree with the price in business to business situation you say this line hmm you just do this okay you take your hand and you do this march and you say hmm not convinced about this deal just do this next time show skepticism again we i can go on and on just about this one thing i just now did you mean like yeah it's a simple thing you just said but there is proven science behind body language when, when you do that okay mm, no not convinced about this deal that's what you say okay that's just one line this is not just line it's negotiation is not just about a line i'm going to show you the entire structure of creating high power i call it the negotiation formula but for now so this is this is one example of somebody who used it and negotiated so plowing and this is what he says i was always by the way he was always a good speaker he said i was always good at speaking but bishal made me great at connecting i have honed my negotiation skill set work i am spending more time with my kids now my wife respects me like ever before overall i can say i'm a happy man now thanks for your mentoring bishal glad i stayed in your mastermind for past 12 months so you heard it that's what i want for you so anytime something happens just keep moving forward don't take remember if you are a level 4 person and you have a level 6 problem it's a big fucking problem but if your problem is still level 6 but you are a level 10 person it's not a problem anymore right so it's not that we are not changing the problem we are changing the person who's facing the problem that's you that's my tip for you right now vishal sarkar here reminding you that public speaking it's not about perfection it's all about connection